Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Goy. In our today's video, we will talk about solving quadratic equations by completing the square. So by the way guys, meron tayong mga methods on how to solve quadratic equations. First one is solving by completing the square. Second, by factoring. Third, this one, completing the square. And the fourth one is solving using quadratic formula. So, um, along the process, malalaman nyo naman kung after nyo panahon mga videos ko about solving quadratic equations, makakapamili ka ng mga methods na gusto mo or mas madali sa'yo or maaaring mo na maintindihan kailan mo ba pwedeng gamitin yung mga gantong klaseng method in solving quadratic equations. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. Meron ulit itong isang equation in which we have x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0. Actually, guys, we can solve this by factoring. So let me show you first how to solve this by factoring, and then we will proceed by completing the square. By factoring, if we have x squared plus 4x plus 3 is equal to 0, all we need to do is to multiply the factors, the leading coefficient, and the constant, which is 3. And we will try to find the factors of 3 that can give us the sum of positive 4. So the factors are definitely 3 times 1. Okay? So we will factor this expression on the left side of the equation. We can factor it as x plus 3 times x minus, uh, sorry, x plus 1 is equal to 0. And by zero product property, we can equate each factor, x plus 3, is equal to 0 and then x plus 1 is equal to 0 and by transposing 3 to the other side it will give us the answer of x is equal to negative 3 and the other is x is equal to negative 1 but we transpose natin to dito tandaan niyo po ah ang nakuha natin is negative 3 and negative 1 by factoring now let's move on to completing the square, if we can get the same answer, even though magkiba yung method natin. So, what is the process in doing completing the square? Ito yung process natin. If you, this is your first term, second term, and third term. So, the first process, or for the first step, is transpose the constant to the other side of the equation. And the new equation is x squared plus 4x is equal to negative 3. As you can see, meron ako itong space. Ang target kasi natin dito is to create a perfect square trinomial on the left side of the equation. Sir, paano po? To find the third term, again, to find the third term for this expression, we will get the coefficient of 4x that is 4. And then, Pay attention to this one, eh? to find the coefficient, uh, to find the constant here, we need to divide it by 2, and then the answer is 2. And then for the quotient of this, erase me lang siya by the power of 2. Again, kahit ano pang coefficient to, kahit ano pang number yan or coefficient, always divide it by 2, and then raise it to the power of 2. So the answer is 4. So we have here plus 4. And then, syempre, sa kabila din, meron din plus 4. Okay? So, kung notice nyo, we have here x squared plus 4x plus 4. That is already a perfect square trinomial. Wherein, we can express this as x plus 2 times x plus 2 as factored form. Pero, to simplify it, since parehas naman sila, gawin na lang natin x plus 2 to the power of 2. And for the other side of the equation, negative 3 plus 4, that is 1. The next step here is to extract the square root of this and this. And we can cancel out this one. And it will give us x plus 2. And then the square root of 1 is simply positive negative 1. So we're not yet done because hindi pa natin nakukuha yung isang value ng x. What we will do is we will equate x plus 2 
by positive 1 and negative 1. So it will give us x plus 2 is equal to 1 or positive 1. And then the other equation is x plus 2 is equal to negative 1. By solving, transpose on sa it will become x is equal to negative, sorry, 1 minus 2. And the other is x is equal to negative 1 minus 2. And solving these equations, the first value of x here is negative 1, while the other x is equal to negative 3. As you can see, parehas na parehas na kuha natin sagot. Given one equation using two different methods. So, ano yun eh? Uh, Nasayin niyo yun kung anong method ang gusto niyo gamitin if you, are used, if you want to solve an equation. Pwede kang gamit ng factoring, pwede kang gamit ng um, completing the square, pero ang masabi ko lang sa inyo dito, may mga equations kasi or quadratic equations kasi na hindi pwede gamitan ng factoring. So, ang tendency, pumupunta ang mga sudyante sa completing the square or pwede naman din yung solving using quadratic formula. In mm -hmm. we have your example number 2 where in the given quadratic equation is x squared minus 4x minus 13 is equal to 0. Now, uh, take a look at the equation. Try using factoring. Is it possible for us to use factoring to solve this equation? Okay, so hindi siya pwede yung factor out. Hindi siya kayong factor out na madalihan lang. So, ang tendency, pupunta tayo ngayon sa completing the square. So, the first step again is transpose the constant to the other side. And it will give you the new equation in which you have x squared minus 4x. And then leave a blank here is equal to 13. Positive na siya. Now, target natin ngayon is to add another term here. Okay? To make this one a perfect square trinomial. So, gabi natin ngayon, get the square efficient, negative 4, divided by 2. So, I'm saying divided by 2. The given is, and the answer is negative 2. And then square the quotient. Negative 2 raised to 2 is equal to positive 4 or 4. And the given dito plus 4 plus 4. Simplify this. Ito na perfect square trinomial. Factor out x minus 2 squared. And on the other side, this is 17. Okay? After expressing this one as a factor, and after simplifying the right side of the equation, extracting the square roots. Cancel this out. Cancel this out. You have x minus 2. Is equal to the square root of 17. Hindi naman siya perfect square. So, we will leave it as positive, negative, square root of 17. So, here's the thing. So, hindi po siya, hindi naman yung radical. Pwede po yan. Pwede, pwede. Equate x minus 2 by positive and negative square root of 17. That is x minus 2 is equal to the square root of 17. And then for the other equation, that is x minus 2 is equal to negative square root of 17. And then solving for the value of x, transpose this and transpose this to the other side. It will give us x is equal to square root of 17 minus 2, oh sorry, plus 2 because for negative, it will become positive. This is the first value of x. And then for the other one, x is equal to negative square root of 17 minus oh sorry, plus 2. So, I think possible answer natin ngayon sa given equation natin. Pero, to simplify your answer, if you want to simplify your answer, pwede naman siya ilagay bilang x is equal to Positive negative square root of 17 plus 2. Parehas na parehas lang yan mga sagot na yan. So, kung meron kong question about our topic today, feel free to comment down below at babasahin natin yan. And if you want to request a topic that you want me to cover within this channel, feel free to comment down below then. So again, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. 
at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!